compared the message of the book in the gospel to the message in the Quran, who cares? Nine times out of ten, they'll say the gospel is a better message. How do you know? Of the people of the world, how many people you ask? A few people. You've asked a few people. How many? One, two, three? Maybe about 30 people. 30 people? Yeah. Okay. I would say all the people who accepted Islam through me disagree with you. Fair enough? That's fair because enough. They're, because, Is that they're, fair because they're enough? ignorant. Is that fair enough? Because they're ignorant. Or your people are ignorant. And they made the red crime. You know what? Whenever I see Muslims yeah. preaching, they always preach from the Quran. The Christian, all you do is just scream and shout. Jesus does not. No, I mean, not think, about Bible, it, right? nothing. think about it. The message I mean, of the gospel is that God is willing to go to infinite lengths because He loves you so much. God, will will, hold on, hold on. <laughs> God is willing to God is willing to go to in, infinite lengths to bring you back on the path of His love. That He's willing to to, to give to give everything of Himself to you. To commit yeah? suicide. To bring you back on the path. Chris, the gospel teaches one thing: God has no mercy. That's what gospel teaches. The gospel teaches God needs to be paid. The God no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Does he not? No, it doesn't. There's no freaking with the shedding of no, blood. No, no, no. That's what no, the Old Testament says. No. <laughs> it says according to the law. It says there's no forgiveness of sin without according the shedding of blood. According to the law. Okay. Is there forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood? According to the law, no. Is there forgiveness of sin? According to according God, to, the according law, to no. you right now, yeah. can God forgive you without getting paid? Yes. Really? So yes. why do you have to believe Jesus died for you then? I believe. Je I don't. Believe. I'm not sure you believe. Why? <laughs> why did Jesus have to die for you if God doesn't need paying? To show. You, to show you the nature of God. To show you the nature. To of... show you that God needs paying. No. Really? No. Did God get paid? No. Really? No. Why did Jesus die? To show you, to show you the length of God. No. Needs. What, what, what's that lens? What's that lens? The, the, the God is. What was the point of the crucifixion? <laughs> to show you how much God is willing to. to, to go what, 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 how did He show that? <laughs> by dying. By dying. By dying how, for you. And what did that show? Huh? What did that show? But to show that the divine is willing to give its life of everything of itself to you. Well, why dying for me proves anything? What does that prove? What does that demonstrate? It shows the heart of God. What does? God dying. No, not God dying. Not God dying. <laughs> Who died? Well, Jesus died. And was Jesus God? We're all dead. Right, no. so Jesus is God. <laughs> To yeah. Jesus God. Yeah, so God died. <laughs> in the in the human in Jesus is a human being oh. died. Why did he have to die? <laughs> to show to show you the nature of God. And well, what's the nature of God? That God is unconditional love no matter what you do. And, no, 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 it's unconditional. Uh, well, am I, am I going to paradise if I don't accept Jesus died for my sins? Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. No, you, no, you can do, yeah. I can do. You can do, yeah. So I don't need to believe Jesus died for my sins. No. <laughs> So what's the point of Jesus dying then? I told you, Jesus, Jesus is showing the nature of God, of his unconditional love. And it's showing that God is not judging. Okay. Is, the, is, is it God's covenant conditional? No, he's Well, obviously you have, to, you have to have faith in the love of God. Chris, is God's, is God's uh, covenant conditional? No. Well, it is. Why? God says in your Bible. What? Well, I say keep my covenant with me, I shall keep my covenant with them. God's covenant is always there for me. You can't. It's, it's, whether, it's whether or not. Who are you people... speaking on behalf of? God is always. Chris, who are you speaking on behalf of? Are you speaking on behalf of what the Bible teaches or what you think? What the Bible teaches. All right. So what you? That's not what the Bible teaches. No, I know God makes a covenant with people. Right. Yeah. With who? With all of with everyone. Really? Where? Where did He make the covenant with everyone? With mankind. When did He do this? Where? It's always been there. Show me your scripture. Where? Well, technically, in the, according no, no, to the no, 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 technicalities. According to the Bible, uh, according to the Bible, where does, where does God make a covenant with everybody? With Israel. I'm really, really that's not everybody. The table. That's what. That's where we differ. No, that's where you differ no, 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 from what no, your book no, says. No. It depends on how you see it. If you're, for example, a Jew, a Jew, you'll you'll think in your head that means just Jewish people. Right. If you go more deeper on a deeper level you will actually see that when God is talking about Israel, it's not just talking about a, a group of people. Is it not? No, hold on. Israel is a symbolic meaning of the of the divine soul. Who told you that? I've, I've, I've come to realize that as I've grown. As I've grown. So it's just your opinion? I know you have this weird, bizarre thing that you try to tongue and shake it so it suits every possibility. Very simple. 
you read your Bible, you will see God is not merciful. God, keeps, who is Jesus? A ransom for many. What did ransom get paid for? Who got paid? Okay, first of all, when it says it was a ransom, he's not talking about God demanding payment. No? No. No. What's a ransom? The ransom is the ransom is to, is to show it, it is to show to people. What's a ransom? It's when you pay someone to free them. Right. Was Jesus a ransom for many? Yes, but in terms in, in terms of in terms of what it means. Was showing. Jesus a ransom? Oh, yes, yes. But meaning you didn't change the word meaning, ransom. Meaning he's say, he, meaning his message and his whole life will be to, to free people. Okay, I'll say it again to you. Was Jesus a ransom for many? Yes. Who got paid the ransom? <laughs> Whoa! So actually, early Christians believed it was Satan. Who got paid? <laughs> that I don't know. No, it wasn't God. God didn't get paid. No. God didn't need. God didn't. So who got paid? Who got paid so God could forgive us? Who got paid? It, no one got paid to go for it. So how was Jesus a ransom? <laughs>